In the shadows of Japan's rich history, there lived a legendary figure, a samurai whose name echoed through the ages. Hattori Hanzo, a master of the sword, a leader of men, and a shadowy ninja with abilities whispered of in hushed tones. Today, we delve into the extraordinary life of Hattori Hanzo, a warrior who walked the line between samurai and ninja, shaping the fate of an empire. Welcome to The Legend of Hattori Hanzo, Samurai, Ninja, and the Secrets Unveiled. In this captivating journey, we'll explore the enigmatic life of Hattori Hanzo, a man who thrived in the chaos of Japan's Sengoku era. From his humble beginnings as a samurai to his transformation into a feared ninja commander, Hattori Hanzo's story is one of bravery, loyalty, and mystery. Hitori, a samurai during the Sengoku era in Japan, lived in a time of social chaos, political upheaval, and constant military conflict. Despite being known as a samurai, he had a hidden identity as a ninja, eventually becoming the leader of a ninja clan. In the early days of his career, however, he served as a military commander. Hitori earned the name Ani Hanzo, meaning Hansard, the demon, due to his military strategy and fearless nature on the battlefield. Born in 1542 as Masanori, he was raised by his father, Hanzo Hurt Orius Onaga, who was a minor samurai to the Matsudaira clan, later known as the Tokugawa clan. Hitori started his training at a young age, reportedly beginning sword training as early as eight years old. Some stories mention his encounters with sword teachers and mystics during his childhood, including climbing a mountain. However, many details of Hitori's life remain unknown, and while there are accounts of his alleged attacks, most of them lack credible evidence. One verified event in his life was his escorting of the future shogun, Tokugawa Ayasu. In the 16th century, Japan was filled with political turmoil, wars, and brutality. Oda Nobunaga, a high-ranking lord, worked to unify feudal Japan but was betrayed by one of his own vassals, leading to his demise. This event triggered political upheaval, and two of Nobunaga's retainers, including Hitori, survived. Tokugawa Ayasu, who would later become the first shogun of the Tokugawa shogunate ruling Japan for almost 300 years, owed his rise to power partly to Hitori's service. The details of Hitori's work for Tokugawa during this period and how he joined his service remain unclear. However, legends suggest that Hitori served Tokugawa during an attack on Kamino Go Castle in 1562, successfully rescuing Tokugawa's captured daughters from a rival clan. At the age of 16, Hitori caught Tokugawa's attention, who praised his bravery. This event marked the beginning of Hitori's transition from a traditional samurai to a figure resembling a ninja or a leader of ninjas, especially from the Hattori family's province of Igo. Another example of Hitori's loyalty to Ayasu was his refusal to carry out an order to kill Ayasu's accused son. Despite being ordered by Takigawa, Hitori couldn't bring himself to kill a man who shared the same blood as the esteemed Tokugawa Ayasu. This act of defiance solidified his loyalty to Tokugawa. One of Hattori Hanzo's most significant moments was his role in escorting Tokugawa Ayasu after Oda Nobunaga's death. Following Nobunaga's demise, Japan fell into chaos, and Tokugawa, being one of Nobunaga's retainers, became a prime target. Tokugawa, far from home at the time, had to undertake a dangerous journey back to his province. Fortunately, he crossed the EGA province, where Hitori had established connections with local ninja clans due to his heritage. Along the way, Hitori engaged and eliminated enemies, with his ninja skills aiding him in swiftly dispatching any opposition. The accounts of Hitori's abilities in battle often include supernatural elements such as teleportation, psychokinesis, and precognition. However, these notions have likely been exaggerated, 
Influenced by the secretive nature of ninjutsu, the martial art that incorporates stealth, espionage, sabotage, camouflage, and deception. Hattori Hanzo's true abilities and their extent remain shrouded in mystery and speculation, as ninjas aim to operate covertly, away from the public eye. Upon safely arriving home in Mikawa after a five-day journey filled with battles, Tokugawa Ayasu threw his support behind Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who was Oda Nobunaga's most trusted retainer. Both Ayasu and Hattori Hanzo aimed to seize control of what Nobunaga had left behind and restore balance to Japan. Together, they formed a formidable force, eventually becoming strong enough to uphold Nobunaga's legacy. However, suspicions of betrayal and ambush led Ayasu to station the ninjas, now under Hanzo's leadership, in barracks near the west gate of Edo Castle. This gate is now known as Hanzomon Gate. Hanzo enjoyed a life of wealth after Ayasu rewarded him with a substantial amount of money, rivaling even the earnings of the renowned warlord, Takeda Shinjen. Ayasu established his residence in Edo, and Hanzo's ninjas became his loyal guards, protecting the castle from the shadows. When Hattori Hanzo passed away in 1596, his band of ninjas supposedly disbanded due to less capable management, resulting in a decline in their discipline and training. Hattori Hanzo's remains are now kept at a temple cemetery in what is present-day Tokyo, surrounded by his favorite weapons. His descendants, however, faced a decline in their fortunes. Many of them accumulated debts and failed to live up to Hanzo's high standards. One of his sons, Masanori, became the captain of the shogun's guards by Tokugawa Ayasu's order but faced rebellion from his own soldiers due to his attitude. He was relieved of his duties and died in battle while trying to redeem his honor. Another of Hattori Hanzo's sons, named Hitori Masa, served under Kagawa and led a group of ninjas. Although he had more success than his ill-fated brother, he couldn't grasp the teachings of ninjutsu in the same way his father did. The secrecy surrounding Hattori Hanzo's ninja lifestyle means that much of what he did, including his alleged powers, will forever remain unknown. It's possible that there were numerous other abilities he possessed beyond those already mentioned. Additionally, the specifics of the tasks assigned to Hanzo during his service as Shogun remain undocumented. There could have been countless missions involving assassinations, theft, espionage, and more. The tales of Hanzo's powers may have been exaggerated by his allies and peers, or they could have been cultivated by Tokugawa Ayasu himself to instill fear in his enemies. It's also plausible that these tales were based on real abilities, and the ancient art of ninjutsu may still be practiced in remote regions of Japan. Thank you for watching, we hope you have gained insights through this discussion. Please consider subscribing and clicking on the notification icon for future updates. Stay tuned for more episodes where we delve into critical issues found in the history.